Yeah, we're at the track covering the sport of kings. Coming up this week, the four-year-old Colt Rhythm Buzz rocks the Mark My Word field with the champion jockey Ray and Lewis aboard at Jamaica's Caymanus Park. In the Barbados Old Brig and Rum Cup feature at the Garrison Savannah, St. Lucian jockey Eric Daniel pilots a seven-year-old horse so suave to snapping a seven-race winless run. A brilliant victory for Guyanese trainer Lolita Shiv Mangal in the New York Stallion Stakes at Belmont at the Big A. Excitement from the world-famous Royal Ascot meet in the UK. Plus the usual check-in on Caribbean victories in North America. Our opening story from Jamaica. A small field for Saturday's Mark My Word trophy at Caymanus Park, honoring Jamaica's 2010 Horse of the Year and Triple Crown winner. Only five starters, heavy betting on three of the entries, including last year's double winner Ability, the one horse with ex-champion jockey Omar Walker aboard, eyeing a hat-trick of wins, and the undefeated Fun Can Done, number five with Josue Osori aboard from the high-powered Jason Da Costa Barn. Ability, the marginal even money favorite, Fun Can Done also at even money, good betting support too for the three horse, Rhythm Buzz, a three to two bet with champion jockey Rian Lewis aboard for trainer Vinnie Atkinson. Ace commentator Brand Rickman picks up the call mid-race. Runners tightly bunched on the front end with a reigning dab winner slipping through to take control. The ability now sneaking up on the rail and the ability leaves the five and grabs the lead. She's my friend now beginning to fade. Fun Khan done and Rhythm Buzz going in chase on the outside. She's my friend dropping back into fourth and the head cornerstone remains last as they quicken up, leaving the half mile and head toward the 716th. It's ability out in front. Fun Khan done just on the outside, a length down. Rhythm Buzz is right there. A length and a half to two lengths separates the first three as they dash past the three. Five lengths back to the head cornerstone and She's My Friend continues to trail the field as they leave the 516th behind them and come toward the top of the lane. Fun can done on the outside. Ability more toward the center. Rhythm Buzz looking for room in between them. The head cornerstone down against the rail. Fun can done on the outside. Now points, but Ability is full of ability and fighting back. Rhythm Buzz right on their heels as they travel toward the final furlong. It's wide open at this stage. Rhythm Buzz in between horses now points the nose in front. Fun can done trying to fight on. Ability has not given up yet, but it is Rhythm Buzz and action pack Ray and Lewis he'll have his second win in the Mark My Word trophy pouncing on the leaders at the eighth pole Lewis confidently rouses Rhythm Buzz to the fine win by a widening length and three quarters fourth straight win this for Rhythm Buzz all trophy races following scores in the Bonnie Blue Flag Henry Jagai and Liga Light one of three wins on the afternoon for the champion jockey Ray and Lewis the Piaget Stables Rhythm Buzz trained by Vincent Atkinson at 3-2 to two, scores in the Mark My Word for his eighth career win ahead of Fun Khan Dunn suffering his first loss and ability. 1 minute 57.42 seconds, the winning time for 9 furlongs and 25 yards. Lewis enjoyed an afternoon triple and double trophy success, scoring two in the Mr. Lover Lover Trophy, a race in tribute to the double double winner in 1997 in Jamaica and TNT. Coming from the back of the field, Lewis in pink and gold silks, rousing the three-year-old cold Captain Sparrow on the outside and early in the home stretch was already looking like the winner. It is supremacy in front. Captain Sparrow looks to be come, trying to come through on the inside, but here comes on the outside now. That is Captain Sparrow, and Captain Sparrow now hits the front supremacy. He's trying to fight back, leaving the furlong pole. It's Captain Sparrow in the Mr. Lover Lover, beginning to skip away from supremacy, trying hard. It's Captain Sparrow, and uh, action pack Ren Lewis. He'll have a third on the card. Captain Sparrow, winning by about four. Kevin Burnside on commentary, back-to-back -back Mr. Lover Lover trophy wins this for Lewis. He scored aboard last year's big 16-length winner, Huntsman. He had to work harder for this. The D-Syndicate's Kingston runner-up gets his second win in five starts for trainer Anthony Nunes. Captain Sparrow by four and three-quarter lengths as the even-money favorite scores over Supremacy with a 55-1 to outsider, Lady Lauren third clocking 159.99 for the 9.1 furlong trip. Racing fans in Barbados enjoyed another exciting night racing experience at the Garrison Savannah on Saturday. The old Brig and Rum Cup feature attracting some of the island's highest rated horses, including Renaissance Frolic and So Suave. So Suave, last year's Sandalane Gold Cup third placer, was already a winner in three different countries before arriving in Barbados. The second favorite with St. Lucian jockey Eric Daniel in a gate to wire bid here watched in the combox by Neil Gill. As they race towards the two for long pole, 
and it is still so suave in front. The others have not yet got on, getting back in terms of them. Tough Rags is in second. Renaissance Frolic will have a lot of work to do. Here they come spinning out of the turn in the old Brigand Rum Cup, and it is so suave. Renaissance Frolic is trying desperately to get back on terms, and down the stretch they come. It is so suave. Renaissance Frolic, so suave, so suave. It's quite a minute. A brilliant front running ride here by Daniel on the inside, keeping so suave going to fend off the determined outside challenge from Antonia Bishop aboard Renaissance Frolic. Mrs. Nelicia Cozier, so suave's third win this in Barbados and first since his Pride of Barbados trophy score on Derby Day last year, August. The seven-year-old had a pair of wins in the UK before shipping to North America, where he won at Florida's Gulfstream Park and Woodbine in Canada, and now advertising his class at the Garrison Savannah for trainer Jean-Marc Cozier. So suave by a length at eight to five odds, chased by Renaissance Frolic with a spa sprint winner in March, Saeed third as the three to two favorite, the winning time for nine furlongs, 151.20 seconds. To New York's Belmont at the Big A, they're calling the Aqueduct Racetrack these days and a huge stakes win for the Guyanese trainer, Lolita Shivmangal. Her entry in Friday's $150,000 New York Stallion Stakes was a nine to five bet solo shot with a skillful Puerto Rico born jockey Irad Ortiz riding for her in the pink sleeves and check out his patience as he moves from off the rail for his winning run in the six furlong sprint. They went 45 seconds flat for the half mile time and still there is geopolitics and trying to split rivals. Here comes Solo Shot is looking for a way through. Being Betty is trying to hold that position, but now here comes Solo Shot after the leader. Geopolitics who's still clear. Geopolitics is still fending him off. Can Solo Shot get there in time? Being Betty is in the mix as well. Solo Shot and also Geopolitics in a tight photo. A really fine ride this by the Eclipse Award winning jockey Rad Ortiz Jr. rousing Solo Shot between rivals to snatch the win in a head bob over the favorite Geopolitics in a tight three-way finish. Solar shot in her fourth start for Shiv Mangal since the filly was claimed in mid-March. She had won twice at Finger Lakes and Saratoga at the start of her career as a two-year-old. This only her third career start on turf and the connections were encouraged to go for the stallion stakes by her breeding and top four finishes on the grass in April and May. We did some research. We said, oh, she'll be a better turf horse. So that's, we prepped her for her first turf race that she ran second yeah. and then after that, we said, well, we ran fourth. And then we said, well, we're going to point her to this race because she'll run with her own group, you know, her own age yeah. group. So I'm just happy that it worked out for us. Solo shot lands her first stakes win for Guyanese Connections, trainer Lolita Shivmangal and owners Travis and Eddie Racing Stable. She scores by a nose over the six to five favorite, covering the New York Stallion Stakes six furlong sprint in 109.03. To the UK now, where Sportsmax has been presenting live all this week, the superb Royal Ascot meet. Among the finest moments so far, a brilliant win for the four-year-old colt, August Rodan, in the Prince of Wales' stakes. About to take control here down the home stretch on the jockey Ryan Moore in the blue and orange striped silks. Would face pressure from two French entries, but that special combination, Moore for trainer Aidan O'Brien, getting the job done in the 10 furlong run. August Rodan takes over as they enter the final furlong of his Aunt Doré and Zarakem coming for France. Out in front, August Rodan trying to hold off on his Aunt Doré and Zarakem. August Rodan has the lead. Zarakem coming hard and late, but he's going to be held. What a log for August Rodan. Two Derby wins, also Breeders' Cup and Irish Champion Stakes. More with his third Prince of Wales' stakes win. Five for trainer Brand, celebrating a record 87th Royal Ascot victory. August Rodin by three quarters of a length as a 13 to 8 favourite for the £1 million Prince of Wales' stakes, clocking 203.12 for the 10 furlong run. Our usual weekly tally of Caribbean wins in the USA and Canada before we go. In the past week, since our last show, I've counted a whopping 88 victories. That's actually a record since I've started keeping these stats. Among the winners, the US Virgin Islands born veteran jockey Kevin Krieger with four wins at Emerald Downs. The Barbadian rider Rashawn Blanche had three wins at Illinois Racetracks. Top Barbadian jock Rashid Hughes had four wins, including a Saturday triple at Central Mile when Samantha Fletcher created history, the first woman rider from Jamaica winning in Canada. She had a double. The Jamaican jockey Kirk Johnson had three wins at Fort Erie on Sunday. And uh, the Barbadian jockey Rashad Knights had five wins at Assiniboia Downs. We've been at the track 
covering top stories and exciting races in the sport of kings. Check us out again next week.